Look at that, peoples. Tonight's BLTs and salad. Mmm, yum. Okay, enough of that. Hope I made your mouth water, though. <laughs> okay, we are getting ready for this decoupage that's going to become a... Uh, it's a collage that's going to become a decoupage. There, I think I got it right that time. I've only done certain parts because, as you see, I'm cutting them out. Mr. Rooster here. I only did just the parts that I thought I wanted because I wanted him to stay white, but I wanted to darken his lines. So I just kind of gave him a facelift. That's all. I mean, that's what coloring's kind of about, but I just didn't do all the coloring. He didn't need it. He's white. What else do you do with a white hat? White foghorn acorn? <laughs> Oh, well, the white chicken that has a red comb and some yellow footsies. Okay, I'm being silly, but that's all right. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure you see a little bit of me, too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I think we've had enough of this. We'll see him later. Oh, now you see, he's all done. And now we've got a chicken hawk. The chicken's bigger than the chicken hawk. Well, it's a 3D effect we're going for. Maybe. We'll see. Time will tell. It's not, it's not glued together yet. Don't panic. Just because I am. No, I'm kidding. You know me. How much of this do you want to watch? I don't know. But I'm not sure in the long run that I'll keep him on the post. I just don't think that post is going to fit. <laughs> As going to be a lot of space, though. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your music that you've heard probably a hundred times in my videos before, but I'm about ready to cut this guy out. And there's some things. I just really love this kid. He just sits on that fence so nice. But you'll see on those logs on the actual fence itself, I didn't color them in completely. Sometimes aging is best done without a lot of, you know how wood tends to bleach out over time. So I kind of wanted to put in the important lines and, well, I thought it looked more realistic than if I tried to color it in completely. I don't know why I have so much trouble going around that hat of his. Why did I cut so close anyway? <clears throat> and yeah, I'm using the tree. I am not coloring that other part because eh, it's enough shadow that I don't think I need to. They kind of put a lot of shadow in on that. And that was done by the whoever made this page, not by me. But I like it. We'll use it. Because I get to say on that part. 
Okay, so that's what we have to this point. Oh dear. Yeah, what do you do with a chicken that's as big as a kid? Just trying to get a feel for size and placement. <laughs> Maybe I should take him off that stump <laughs> and just put him up in the air. But he don't have his wings spread. <sighs> Still got a barn and some flowers. Give me some ideas in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think. And this, I discovered that this little house here, it's a house. It's not a cabin. So I went ahead and I put some paint on it, put a paint job and some shingles on it. So this is supposed to be kind of a collage type thing. So I don't know that there's any hard and fast rules. An awfully big chicken next to him <laughs> so I guess we won't want him quite that much in the foreground but I got a barn yet we're in the beginning stages sorry I had you all oh, crooked we're in the beginning stages but this is the time for you give me your thoughts on where we should go with this and if I should look for more items if I should look for different flowers or maybe add more of these trees because there's a bigger space I th than I thought here to fill in so but that's a nice size barn I would only do the barn but well this section, section down here so, I'll wait for your input. And if you remember some of the, vi uh, if you want to go back to the video the day before and see what all I had seen, we looked at in the books. If there's something out of there, we'll see. We'll take a look at it. See what you think. And see what I think. I decided to come out here. To finish off the evening. It's muggy. It was supposed to be nicer this evening because tomorrow and the next day over the weekend it's just going to be nasty. Nasty hot. So they're recommending that if you don't have to you just don't go out. And if you have to be careful to take plenty of fluids. Oh, I think they've about come to the conclusion here in Nebraska to not open the schools and expose either teachers or students until we're back down in the green because we're, we're, we've come all the way back up into the red. We are not as populated as a lot of states, so our numbers may not seem as big, but when you go per capita and it's you know it's significant enough excuse me it's significant enough for us to pay a lot of attention and there are places not just here I mean all across the country that are putting safety measures in place again and I'm glad they are I I don't like all of the separation, but I don't want anybody, I mean, there's enough people have been sick and dying, and like the Surgeon General said, we could be rid of it within a, probably a few months if everybody would just wear masks. But there's so many who just refuse to. <laughs> I, these ones who think it's a conspiracy, they just... Yeah, I don't know. There's not. I don't know of any state that has not had a death from this. 
at least probably several. So I don't know. But I'm going to listen to the CDC more than I am the politics. <laughs> and to our local health and human services and to physicians who have taken care of this. So you, you do what you think is right, but I pray that you will err on caution, all of you. I want you all to be able to come back. And I don't want any of you getting sick either. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all. And good night. Smile away.